Hello everyone, welcome to Unlock Maths. Today we are going to discuss effect of multiplication of t raised to n on Laplace transform where this n is positive integer. First we have to write here statement of this property. So yes, when we have one function f of t and we know its Laplace, this is given by this f of s, right? Now if we multiply this f of t by t, right? And then resulting Laplace is here, this is minus 1 into differentiation of this f of s. This is with respect to s. Same here, if we multiply this f of t by t square, then what is the resulting Laplace here? Here we have this is minus 1 its square and here we have this is second differentiation of this f of s with respect to s. And in general, if we multiply this f of t by t raised to n, then resulting Laplace is here. This is minus 1 raised to n and here this is nth differentiation of this f of s with respect to s where this n is here 1 2 3 up to finite n right now we have to prove this statement here yes here we have given this f of t laplace f of s and we have to prove this is here right so yes we will prove this property by mathematical induction Yes, and in mathematical induction, we know that given statement we have to prove for n is equals to 1, right? Then we have to assume that given statement is true for n, yes, and using this we have to prove given statement for n plus 1, right? Yes. So here we have to use mathematical induction. So first we will prove given statement for n is equals to 1, right? So yes, n is equals to 1. That means when we multiply given function f of t by t, yes, we have to prove this is here, right? Yes, we know that we have given function f of t and we know it's Laplace, right? And this is given by, this is integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st f of t, right? This integration with respect to t and when we solve this integration, we get new function f of s. This is called the Laplace, right? Now we will write down again, this is here. So here we have, yes, now we can check that here. We need differentiation of this f of s with respect to s. So first we will differentiate this with respect to s on both sides. So here we have yes we have differentiate this is with respect to s. Yes now we can check that here this is the differentiation of this integral right. So this differentiation get convert this is in partial differentiation with respect to s under this integral sign, right? So here we have integral of this differentiation of e raised to minus st f of t dt, right? And this is as it is. So this is by this duis rule. Yes, this is differentiation under the integral sign, right? Next here, Yes, this is partial differentiation with respect to s, right? So when we solve this here, differentiation with respect to s, so this differentiation is here e raised to minus st. This f of t is constant, variable t is constant. So this differentiation with respect to s is here e raised to minus st into minus t, right? This f of t as it is. Yes, now we can take this minus sign, this is outside. So here we have e raised to minus st 
t into f of t yes and this side as it is right now we can take this minus on this side so here we have integral of e raised to minus st t into f of t yes and this minus on this side and this is differentiation of f of s yes now we can check that yes this is the laplace of t f of t yes this is the by definition of laplace transform right so we can write this is as laplace of t into f of t right so here we have this is minus 1 into differentiation of this f of s with respect to s so we have proved right given statement for n is equals to 1 yes we got this is here right when we multiplied given function by t resulting laplace is minus 1 into differentiation of this given laplace right yes we have proof for n is equals to 1 next we have to assume that given statement is true for n right so here we will write down here Yes, we have to assume that given statement is true for n. That means here we have to assume that when we multiply given f of t by t raised to n, we get resulting Laplace. This is minus 1 raised to n into nth differentiation of this f of s, right? By assuming this, we have to prove that given statement is true for this n plus 1 right so yes now here we can check that yes we have assumed this is here so by definition of laplace transform yes we can write this is integral within limit 0 to infinity e raised to minus st right laplace of this is here t raised to n f of t right this is we have applied definition of laplace transform this is minus 1 raised to n this is as it is right this side as it is yes now again this is differentiating yes we have differentiated this given statement with respect to s so we got this is here now again by dui's rule this differentiation under the integral sign get changed and that get converted in partial differentiation so here we have and on simplification we will get this is n plus 1 differentiation right yes next now this is differentiation of this e raised to minus st and these other terms are constant so here we have e raised to minus st differentiation with respect to s that means this is we will get here this is minus t right yes next we can simplify we can take this minus outside so here we have integral of e raised to minus st yes this t and this t raised to n here we will get t raised to n plus 1 f of t right and again this is as it is yes next we can check that this is by definition of laplace transform yes we can write this is as a laplace transform of this t raised to n plus 1 into f of t yes and when we shape this minus sign on this side so here we have this is minus 1 raised to n plus 1 and this is n plus 1 the differentiation of this f of yes so yes what we have proved here yes we have proved given statement 
true for n plus 1 right so yes by mathematical induction yes we have proved given statement is true for n plus 1 by assuming that statement is true for n right So yes, by mathematical induction, we can say that given statement is true for all n. So yes, here we have this f of t into t raised to n and its lap plus is given by this minus 1 raised to n into nth differentiation of this f of yes. So yes, we have proved this given property here. So yes. When we multiply f of t by t raised to n, its resulting Laplace is minus 1 into nth differentiation of given Laplace, right? Next, we have to understand this property by one simple example, right? If we have to find Laplace of this t square into e raised to thrice t, yes? How to proceed here? First, we have to find Laplace of e raised to thrice t. So, what is this Laplace? This is 1 upon s minus 3, right? Then, we have to multiply this e raised to 3t by t square, yes? So, here we have, this is Laplace of t square into e raised to thrice t. So, what we have to do? Yes, this is minus 1 it square into second differentiation of this f of s f of s is here s minus 1 upon s minus 3 right yes this is by effect of multiplication of this t square so yes how to simplify this is minus 1 it square so here we have this plus 1 and this is here second differentiation of this 1 upon s minus 3 so yes we have to find this differentiation so yes First differentiation, this is minus 1 upon s minus 3, its square, right? Yes, then again we want its differentiation. So here we will write this is minus outside. So this is s minus 3, this is in numerator. So here we have, yes, this differentiation minus 2 into Yes, this is s minus 3 plus 2, this is minus 3. So, this minus minus get plus of 2 upon this is s minus 3, it's cube. So, this is the Laplace of t square into e raised to thrice t. So, we got this is 2 upon s minus 3, it's square. Yes, we have used this formula here. Yes, in this way we got Laplace of this is right. Now we can check that. Yes, as we have exponential function, we can find this is by using first shifting property also, right? So yes, how to try this is for first shifting property. First, by first shifting property, how to find? Yes, first we have to find Laplace of t square. Laplace of t square here. Yes, this is 2 factorial upon s cube, right? And by first shifting property, yes, when we multiply this t square by e raised to thrice t. So, what is here? 2 factorial, this is 2 and this is s minus 3, it's cube, yes. So, this, by this way, yes, by first shifting property, we can find Laplace. And how to apply this effect of multiplication of t here by this way. So, in this way, we have to proceed for multiplication of t raised to n. So, yes, that's it for now. See you in the next video. Thank you. Keep watching.